Okay, good morning, folks. We are gonna get started. So I know everyone's walking to the door and seeing the sign walk around the corner and coming in, but uh, yeah, we've got a really packed schedule. Uh, so we're just gonna get going. So thank you all who have made it here for our very first SIGSTOCON. <laughs> First, um, just some quick introductions. Uh, we've got a set of us who will be tag teaming through the emceeing and the opening and closing sessions. So I'm Tracy Miranda and Santiago, Santiago. will be joining us and uh, Lily will be swapping in later as well. So we'll be walking you through the day just to give us a bit of a, a soft start um, as people roll in. We're just gonna go through uh, a bit of what to expect for today. So it's our very first SIGSTOCON, so really glad you could all join us. We will be doing um, a little, are we good? Uh, we'll be doing a little bit of an opening session after we get through some of these logistics and which I'll hand over to Santiago for some opening remarks. Then we've got uh, three keynotes to kick off with um, and a talk from Jesse Sanford from Autodesk which leads us into a coffee break. You'll find coffee just outside the room. Uh, and then more talks leading up to lunch, which is apparently in Hall E. I didn't know we were feeding you, but <laughs> we'll get to Hall E for food. And just a quick shout out. We do have uh, one speaker from Datadog who has a pre-recorded session. Uh, that will be the first one on after the break. Uh, so that will play in here. And then finally, after lunch, back for some more talks and leading into lightning talks uh, and then a final session and then we're gonna have a closing session and an award ceremony. So yeah, lots um, to get through today and uh, yeah, really looking forward to a lot of the sessions on there. So I hope everybody is excited. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and I am going to Hand over to Santiago. Well, hello. Uh, can you hear me well? Yeah. Great. So uh, I didn't want to take a, a lot of a space because we have a, a lot of interesting keynotes to talk about. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to thank our program committee. This is the people that reviewed all of your uh, talks and abstracts. Uh, they did a, a fantastic job. If you just look at the agenda, everything looks uh, uh, pretty tightly connected to what State of Six Store is and where is it going in the future. I also wanted to thank uh, our diamond sponsors for Six Store Con, uh, Chainguard, Google, and Red Hat. Thank you so much. Woo. And uh, well, we have a lot of uh, in companies involved in the talk in talking today. Uh, I think we'll get a lot of perspectives from both. Uh, integrators and uh, developers and end users. I think it's going to cover all of the perspectives of what makes Sixtor such a thriving and interesting ecosystem. Uh, this is why we have uh, the landscape. I don't know if you've seen this. I think it's been floating around a little bit on Twitter. Uh, we have integrations with many projects, say, in the CNCF. Uh, personally, in Toto and Tough are, the, are ones that I'm involved in. But we have uh, integrations with Helm and pretty much anything that's related to software delivery and to security is starting to catch on and take on in, uh, take on Sixdoor to secure their software supply chain. Now, even though we have a very, very thriving, very diverse ecosystem, I am, I'm humbled to see all of these different logos involved in the project. We uh, still need to provide a little bit more in order to entice new projects to start joining us. And this is why today we are announcing general availability for Sixdoor. <laughs> now, you may, want me, you may be wondering what that means. Uh, it means a couple of things, but most of it is just a way for you to trust the Sixdoor infrastructure as a place for, for you to sign and verify different software supply chain artifacts. Concretely, what this means is that we are hitting uh, 1.0 in both Recore and Fulcio. We are also uh, providing an SLA of 99.5 uh, uptime for the 
public good instance. And we also went through a security audit that actually found a, a vulnerability that's already been fixed. Uh, but this really means that the project has been thoroughly looked at by third parties and that you can trust the way uh, that it's running and the way that it's, uh, it's being uh, used. So something I wanted to do just to spice things up a little bit and before handing it off to, to Luke is I made a little alias, alias here. Uh, wait, no, it's not that. So this is the entry that I probably should have not zoomed back so much. <laughs> Let's try again. Uh, this is the entry that we have hit uh, during GA, just during the announcement now. And I'm going to ask you in the, in the next couple of minutes, try to sign an entry and see which one of you in the crowd can get the closest to this number. If it is not very readable there, uh, we have uh, 1,673,564 as the record entry. Does anybody want to try, get close? There's going to be a prize, of course. You're allowed to use cosign. You can cosign whatever you want. Keyless is fine. Maybe keyless is useful, has your email on it. It's also quite amazing when I tested this like <laughs> some minutes ago, we were a couple of thousand behind. <laughs> A joke. Oh. I have a joke. Please. Did you hear about the developer who couldn't get their signature into recall? Uh, it's a practical joke. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I no, don't. It, it's it's a bad sign. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do I have anybody? You can just yell the number. Yell your numbers. What's your uh, index? Huh? Yeah. 500. Oh. Oh, this is, no, this has been increasing. So if I run it again, I, I can tell you that I'm gonna get a, a different number. It's a different number. <laughs> Probably we need to add a couple. <laughs> we need to add two numbers. Well, we're also out of time. So why don't we just send <laughs> it to, to Luke and uh, come back to me and we'll, uh, we'll hand you your swag.